here, guys. It's so great to see you again. I'm sorry I can't be in the studio with you this time, but we've got so many fabulous, fabulous things to talk about. You know, I'm sure that y'all are just like me and really enjoy uh, the flavors of fall. Autumn is one of my favorite times of the year and it's spooky season, so we're gonna scare up a cocktail here. You see what I did there, Quincy? You better watch out or I might, I might start doing a stand-up routine myself. But I call this my Rumpkin Spice Teeny, and it's kind of a rip on pumpkin spice because that's what everybody's talking about. Love it or hate it, who knows? I love it, so we're gonna make a cocktail that you're absolutely going to adore. So I'm gonna start here. I've got my cocktail shaker, and I'm gonna put in one and a half ounces of rum. Now all these recipes and everything is gonna be in the companion blog post that y'all have there at 757, Living 757. It'll also be on my website at virginiaeatsanddrinks.com. I'm gonna put in the rum. Our rum comes from our friends at Chesapeake Bay Distillery. You can pick this up in Virginia Beach at the distillery, or they have it at a lot of ABC stores too. Then we have almond milk, so it kinda of gives you that fall filling, that fall taste there. I'm gonna put that in. And we've also got another fabulous fall flavor. That's maple syrup. It's gonna give it some nice sweet flavors. And then I like to make my own pumpkin spice blend. It's very, very simple. Uh, you can make it yourself, you can get it at the store. It's basically, um, you know, just cinnamon, uh, ground ginger, and nutmeg, and some cloves, but um, I want to give you that recipe again. So I'm just going to pitch a pinch in there and then I'm going to put our lid on very good. Some people accuse me of not having my lid on tight. Well, I'm going to show them. And then, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to shake, 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 shake our cocktail, shake our cocktail. Yeah. All right. Take the lid off here and we're going to strain this into a martini glass should be nice and cold and frothy oh look at that how beautiful all right and now we're going to put just another little sprinkle for garnish of the pumpkin spice there and yum 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 cheers to you guys in the studio and cheers to fall there well, now it's also September is National Breakfast Month, so I want to use an avocado and make a creamy avocado spread and then also make a nice avocado toast for breakfast. So what you're going to do is take an avocado. We're going to cut that bad boy in half. In here, I've already got some Greek yogurt. That's going to be the creamy part that flesh out. You know, avocado is so good for you. It's such a nice natural fat. It's rich and creamy on its own, but I really like embellishing it this way. And I think we'll do one more. And then what I'm going to do here is add in a mixture of some seasonings. It's salt, it's pepper, it's a little bit of chopped up um, pepper flakes. We grow these in our garden. And so you can just take these and chop them up, or you could just also use some regular cayenne pepper flakes. I'm gonna mash this up really, really good, mix it. And then we're gonna take some toast that we made earlier. I'm gonna put a nice big spread right across it. And you know what? You can also garnish this. I've already poached and chilled some shrimp. Well, you can just put that right on there. And got a beautiful, creamy avocado toast to celebrate September being National Breakfast Month. Well, that's all I've got for right now. I hope y'all are doing good back in the studio. Hope everybody's doing great at home. And I will talk to you soon. Cheers.